And good evening. Welcome to the Gary Brodsky Show, brought to you by GaryBrodsky.com. Join now. Get our newsletters. It's free. Sign up at GaryBrodsky.com. We got all the real stuff. And I'll explain what the real stuff is in about a second and a half. But I just got to say, you can join up as a non-paying member and see all the stuff that I cannot show anymore because it is not politically correct. This is the gulag we all live in. This is what has become our lives. Did I offend anybody today? Will I offend somebody tomorrow? Did somebody offend me? It's all based on fear. Reality is different. Because once you have fear, you cannot operate in reality. Or even not reality, you cannot operate at all. When they have you scared, that if you say, hey girl, how you doing? You're going to be sued or whatever. It happens maybe 20, 30 times a month. Well worth the risk. But I'll tell you a secret. If you're alpha, nobody, no alpha guy has ever been sued. Watch court TV. Anybody sued for sexual harassment. It's always some jerk off who doesn't know what he's doing. Was pretty much being sued for malpractice on not knowing how to meet with him. That's a fact. Because a guy who just goes over and says to a girl, hey, how you doing? You can't go, hi, how you doing? No, that's how guys talk today. Hey, how you doing? I got an audio called, how you doing? It's a very good one. Because it works. Hey, how you doing? You doing okay? As soon as you say that, that is not actionable. But guys become so frightened of women because that's exactly where they want you to be. And where do you want to be? Exactly what they don't want you to be. Alpha up, manned up, and ready to get women. Now, I've been watching the other guys' sites, and they have worse guys coming up than before. I mean, I'll take these old guys back. These had gimmicks. They all talk in the most feminine way, and they all have this whole thing going, all right? It works like this. These are 10 signs that a girl likes you. These are 10 signs that a girl wants you. These are 10 signs that a girl will even talk to you. And I'm saying to myself, on the outside, this looks good. This looks like something, yeah, maybe, yeah. But the reality is this. Think about this. They don't promote being an alpha. An alpha would be, here's 10 signs if you like her. Here's 10 signs if she's for you. Here's 10 signs whether you want to sleep with her or not. They have taken away in all the other guys' approaches. That's why I'm a real guy, okay? The fact that a guy has any discretion in any relationship, and that's actually become most guys' lifestyle. It's like, well, she likes me, so therefore, I am now under her spell and go do everything she wants. And that's exactly what they're preaching. And what I preach comes from the Bible. That's right. You missed some good webinars. Maybe I'll, I'll throw them out there. And uh, questions, I just want to get this uh, started first. Gary Brodsky, one, two, three, at AOL.com. Very important. But this site has all the tools, the NLP, everything that, that will get women, yeah, to want you, but put, keeps you in control. And when I hear guys say stuff like this, you know, after two days, she let me have sex with her. She let you. How gracious of her. Uh uh It's when you say so. Not when she says so. Every guy's got it all wrong today, and I'm here to preach the truth. Like it or not. Offended or not. Checking for mail? No, oh, this thing keep checking. But the truth is, Guys don't know how to go, have any leadership skills anymore. Nothing. I'm not talking about leading a gigantic corporation or an army. I'm just talking about in their own life, making decisions. Most guys can't do it. I've made decisions, i got to tell you, that has got me in a lot of trouble. I've made decisions that have worked out really well. But I have made decisions. That's an important part of life. Anybody who's anywhere has made decisions. So back to these guys who get sued for sexual harassment and stuff like that. They're basically, again, what they're doing is picking up women with malpractice. They obviously don't have a clue, 
and that'll get you in way more trouble than you think. So if you want to end that, and you want women calling you, like, oh, here she goes again, this one over here, this one's texting me here, this one's sending smoke signals over there. GaryBrice.com is the real stuff, the real deal. And I can't say orders have been slow. They're doing great this week. And the, I guess the testimonials that's come in, it's like, I got this on Tuesday, I got two girls on Wednesday. I have one of those, I, I don't want to mention names. But this is a guy saying, oh, do you think this is going to work? 10,000 emails later, he finally bought something. Now he's the king. I'm happy for him, okay? And now I will take some questions. Hey, they're here. The questions. Let's say here. Oh, okay. Jeremy, good evening. Thank you. Do you think the castration of men, at least you realize that's happening here, has led to women married, dating, co cockholding their men? I don't know what cockholding means. I don't know every word. This is what I don't know. Um, what is cockholding? If you explain, I can answer it. Otherwise, I'm taking shots. I don't want to do that. It's a good word. I just never heard it. But marriage is down. Almost nobody's getting married anymore. Most people don't live with a girl. You know, it's like when I was 17, everybody had their girl out. My girlfriend's breaking my balls. My girlfriend's over here. Shut her up, put her in a car. You know, girls wanted boyfriends. Today, it's different. They don't. That's why you have to be mega alpha. Because once you do that, you make alpha in their presence. You have a command. Hey, how you doing? All right? Yeah, good. Sit down. Let's talk. Okay. A little dicey there, but they're... Programmed instincts will drop. Trust drop, and they will immediately be drawn to you. Once you relinquish control, they don't want to know you. And I have done this in my own life over and over again. And it's like, you know, and I, this is a kind of a fucked up thing, but I do it. Yeah, things are going great. Let's see how I can fuck this up. Yeah, I've done that more than once. Like, I'm going to start doing everything she says. I'm going to start agreeing with her on everything. I'm going to ask her for permission. Is it okay if I do this? In about a week, I call up. It's like, hi, how are you? I'm fine. How's everything? Fantastic. Yeah, oh, great. This worked. Hey, my experiment worked. You can always turn it around. But the more you actually, you know, let them take over your life, the more women are going to have contempt for you. But that's why most guys, they operate without having any value to themselves. They don't have value. The fact that you can uh, talk, you got value. The fact that you can make a laugh, you got value. We're not talking about, women couldn't give a fuck about your money, believe it or not. That's why guys in prison get more marriage proposals than the average guy will ever get in 10 lifetimes. Think about that. Why? Because these are guys that break the rules and don't give a fuck what society thinks. I'm not saying to be a criminal. I'm just saying that when you start acting in that politically correct way, you immediately look like a loser. Like, here's a brainwashed idiot. What the fuck wants to deal with him? Who can't make a decision, and it's all going to come back on you, and not in a very good way. I'm going to have some soda without playing music. What do you think of that, all right? I was going to have a health show on. I think it's kind of difficult with the way I am. Do this TV show. Oh, that would great, you know. But guys give up their power of decision, and it affects every area of their life. Most guys are living a life in loneliness and misery, for lack of knowledge. And what do they say? For lack of knowledge, shall peril. They're periling all over the place. Okay, checking for mail. It'll do that for a while. You know, every day you get an email. You can upgrade now. To, I haven't figured this one out yet, okay? Who do we blame? Okay, people, people love to blame people today. Who do we blame 
that every girl sits there all day on the iPhone. Do we blame the iPhone? Do we blame Steve Jobs? No, we got to blame the way men act that have driven them to the iPhone. Because once you start blaming women, no. Guys say to me, she was this to me, she was that, she was disrespectful. Your fault. Oh, she wouldn't call me back, she is that, she cheated on me. Your fault. Oh, she's acting, your fault. All your fault. Again, why? Lack of knowledge. You know, I talked to this girl, she walked away. Your fault. Let me just recommend a few programs. One is Be More of a Man. The other one is Instant Seduction, Make Your Move. Because women within the first five minutes, maybe ten, tops, usually it's less than that, have decided already whether they're going to sleep with you or not. Those are very, very important five minutes. And how you doing also is a great audio. It's got a silly title, but it's got some great content. And one of the best audios that nobody seems to order is How to Be Cool. It really does work. It's got some unbelievable content to it. Title, maybe silly. Content, unreal. Because in those first few minutes of, hi, once you open the door, you're going to have to learn how to step through it. And the worst thing, if you want to, to really lose your whole self-esteem and strike out every time, I'll tell you how to strike out every time. Okay, because so many of you guys enjoy doing this, I may as well tell you. They start talking to a girl, and they don't make their intentions known. It's like, oh, the weather outside is horrible. It's cold out. It's hot out. It's whatever. You know. And the girl's going, should they be interested in me sexually? Because that's what they think. Believe it or not, women think that way more than men. And the guy's like, well, this and that, I own this shit, which is even worse. Like a kid, here's my toys, here's my electric trains. It's cute when a kid does it. When an adult does it, it is not cute, okay? It is not cute. And, you know, I hate to say beating around the bush, but that's exactly what it is, okay? Perfect, actually, words. They start getting turned off. First, they think, okay, what's wrong with me? This guy's not coming off to me the right way. Then, a few seconds later, they think, hey, what's wrong with him? Oh, game is over. It's a very easy game to win. Why? Well, first of all, you got to get the audio programs. you got to know what you're doing. And if you've been striking out, you don't know what you're doing, okay? You don't. So I got perfectly clear. So the longer you wait to move in, the further your target, your desire, goes. Same thing with a business deal. Or even when you ask your parents for a loan, okay? I learned this young, because I used to ask my parents for loans. Yeah, I was a kid. I always didn't want to go out and do something, you know? And I go, hey, Dad, I need 50 bucks. Oh, fuck. All right, here's 50 bucks. That worked. Then when I would do a long speech, you know, Dad, I've been having a rough time lately, this and that. You know, and, uh, blah, blah, blah. and by the way, Daddy looked great. By the way, that tie is amazing. Can I borrow 50 bucks? And go fuck yourself, all right? Go out and work for it. I did. I just spent it on some bullshit. No. The faster you move in, the less somebody has time to build up a defense. This is more true in dating than it is with loans. So, uh, yeah, money and women sometimes work on uh, the exact same, and if you follow the occult, the exact same frequency. Kind of weird. Uh -huh, Jeremy, I'm glad you got back to that. A submissive husband. Thank you so much for the definition, by the way. I mean, everybody needs to hear this. Because I can see from the first three words, it's good. A submissive husband with a wife who takes on alpha male lovers. Basically, he doesn't leave her when she pulls that shit on him. Exactly. And you got a lot of good points covered in this one sentence. A submissive husband, any guy who's submissive to a woman, deserves what they get, okay? Because it's going to happen. You're not going to get out of it. And this guy, Jeremy, is right on the money here. 
who a submissive husband who has a wife, that wife is going to have lovers. Unless you live on some island somewhere where they honor all the guys. Women hate submissive men. And that's why I say I am the only real deal out there. Every guy I teach you how to be obsequious and submissive to women. And that's uh, actually forbidden by God, so I stay with him. Okay? I don't care who comes out of the woodwork. They ain't going to meet God, okay? Created the universe. What does some idiotic politician do? Pass a law that you can't do less stuff than you could do yesterday? The microaggressions, you know, that fucking voice, you know? Now, microaggressions, mini aggressions, but all that programming is shot down by the presence of an alpha male. It's a fact. You don't believe me? Try it. You know, it's, it's, it's really sad. But I have an audio program, don't worry, maybe it helps. How to beat approach anxiety. Because a lot of guys have approach anxiety. Why? I don't know. But I had that too when I was young. I was like, I started young. And I beat it in a lot of ways, and it's all there on that audio program. And well worth it. Because there's so many ways to approach. You know, I don't go, hi. <laughs> so I course, I mean, I can do that shit, because I don't care if I get slapped. But uh, it's a game, and it's the only a fun game when you play, not to win, when you play and win. And once you know how to play, you're going to win every time. You are going to win every time. That I can tell you. Okay. Yeah, hey, Chris, good evening. Sorry, I just lost the email. There it is. What you said, Bill of Rights here? Okay. Good evening, Chris. Who do I blame for keeping women... Their fingers and faces glued to their phones. Yeah, I like this. Any male who allows it. I went to brunch with some buddies on Saturday. We were supposed to go to the gym, which ended up not happening. One of my buddies had his girlfriend calling him, telling him to come home. He hangs up and tells us in a, a, that high, you know, nasal voice. I just lost my place here. I have to go home now. I just responded by saying, meow, snap. Basically telling him he's pussy with him. It's a good way to put it, actually. He started to get pissed off me saying, when you get a long-term girlfriend, you'll understand. I replied, understand what? <laughs> I like that. He then said, she will try to keep you on a short leash, too. I laughed and said, only if you let her. I continued to the gym with the other guys. It's sad. Oh, it is so sad. It really is. Phone just made a funny face. I don't know how that happened. But it is sad because that is most guys' lives. I'm like, yeah, I, I talk to guys. Like, hey, I got a great business deal. Call me tonight. What time? I don't care. I'm up late. Well, my wife doesn't like me up late. This is fucking business. Well, she doesn't like me up like, late. She keeps you on a little short leash. And I hear that term a lot. She keeps you on a short leash. I, you shouldn't be keeping each other on leashes. Uh, and that is a great uh, tactic for women, too, for getting women. You know those guys? And I, Brooklyn was full of them. I, oh, these girls are easy to get. Once I saw a guy doing this time. So where were you last night? I was friends. Were there any guys there who were the friends? Who was this? You don't want to interrogate people keep anybody on a short leash, man or woman. It is, I don't know how guys take it, though. We're going to least a rebel against it, for the most part. It's like, yeah, go where you want, do what you want. Because if you have the confidence, they ain't going nowhere. And guys get so insecure, a short leash is a sign of insecurity. So basically, he has her on a short leash. You don't really look at the reality. Because she's worried, oh, he's made meet somebody like this, like that. He could have turned that around in two seconds, but then again... You know, sometimes I say, why bother? Why waste my time? But I hear that a lot. I'm on a short leash. You know, after, after the gym, I'm like, hey, hang out for a second. I can't. I gotta go home. Why? My girlfriend's gonna kill me. You mean she's actually going to take your life and being late? No, but I don't want to hear about it. So by the version of the fact that she's gonna talk in a high volume, you're going to do whatever she says. And he goes, yeah. I'm sure it's a nice, loving, romantic relationship. 
He's in the best of night thing, but anybody else, you know, doing this. Um, all right, Pete, good evening. Do you ever tell a woman you love her? If so, how do you tell her? Maybe you should never. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. Maybe you never should. Oh, I just screw up this phone. Good. Tell her. And, you know, old Brooklyn joke. Tell you love her. You don't have to mean it, but don't tell her too much. You got to make her wait to hear it again. And as you know, women do not love back the same way men love. And that's going to be coming out soon on audio. Screw up a few points, but what the heck, I got the whole thing across very well. Women do not love the same way men love. The worst thing, and this is like the worst thing, and uh, Chris, I hope you watch this, I'm sure you've seen it. Pete, you too, and Jeremy, this is the worst thing. You see guys breaking up on the cell phones now. It used to be in person, you know, a girl was smacking in the street, the guy was laughing. The world had a little bit of a pulse, a little life. So this is a guy on his phone breaking up with this girl. Ready? Because guys don't break up with women anymore. I, I have never seen women break up with men. In fact, if you check the statistics, very, very rarely do men even file for divorce. They'll take all the shit in the world and we're going to get something now and say goodbye. But men used to break up with women. I was young. I was like, I don't fuck with this cunt. I'm breaking up with her. Tell me what to do. Goodbye, you know? But now this is what you see. I see this in parking lots a lot. I don't know why. You're on the phone with the girl with the door open in the car. Oh, but you know I love you. You know how much that's annoying her? Guys allow it. Guys invite it. Guys by their action are going to get trampled by women. Why? Women have the knowledge. They know how to work guys since they're, you know, since they're teenagers. Guys, most of them have no clue. That's why I tell you all who are not signed up, sign up on the mail list, GaryBrodsky.com. You'll love it. See, I'm telling you that. You're going to love it. Believe me. Okay. Yes, Mr. Muscles, I can. And I will. But it will be, have to be late tonight. So any other questions? Because it's just said what guys are doing to themselves. It's, it's a disgrace. You know, if you want to know what a beta guy sounds like, listen to any boring politician. Not any of the recent things is a whole big thing. Look at the old of the past. And then, then, then I promise you this. Nothing. Of course, the system's rigged. So it doesn't matter what the guy acts like. But when you go out there meeting women, the system is not rigged. But it will be if you know covert NLP, moving as fast. If you know all, there are certain things that work and things that don't. And that's what GaryBrice.com is all about. And I hope I got some messages here. I do. Unpussy whipping. That's kind of a really good one. If my girlfriend didn't like me staying up all night, all I can say is, who do you think you are, my mommy? One way to get out of being pussy whipped trapped. If your girlfriend, wife, spouse tells you not to do something you want to do, do it anyway. For other tips, this is a good one, go to GaryBrass.com and get your hands on a copy of Pussy Whipped. Do it now. I'm glad you brought that up, Chris, because guys can be pussy whipped and not know it. I'm actually here to rescue them. They don't understand that. They think I'm here to berate and make fun of them. Yeah, a little of that too, but I can't help it. I've been pussy whipped. I know the horrors of it, and I would have somebody like me to tell, tell people about it. And it sucks, because you're waiting for her. To, now it's even worse, because when I was supposed to be, they didn't have cell phones. I was waiting for them. I was sitting by the phone. Uh, I, was, I actually stood out and watched her apartment. And uh, this is going back many years. It's painful. It is more pain than you can imagine. And I'm sure we've all been there at one point in our life or another. But sometimes you can just ease into it and not know how you got there and not know how to get out. So if you want to avoid ever being in that horrible situation again, there's an audio program called Pussy Whipped, which explains scientifically the 29, I think, signs 
of being pussy whipped. And here's just to give you one sign, and this is a big sign. When you're rehearsing conversations in your head, when you're like not with her, like if I say this, maybe she'll, maybe she'll like me today. That's just one sign. And a lot of guys do that. Once you rehearse the conversations, you're on the road where you already are pussy whipped. Not a good place to be. Believe me, I, I, I gave up. I was an artist back then. I used to get these big jobs. I would give up a $1,000 job, which is a lot of money. Back then, it was even more. Just hit it to another artist. Just draw this in my style. I, I have to think about this girl. I have to rehearse conversation in my head. I know guys who've gotten into debt up to $40 million trying to buy a woman's affections. It doesn't work. It sounds like it should, but it doesn't. All right, Jason, good evening. How are you doing? Hi, Gary Jason here. So I said that. Most men today, even know in any way, shape, or form on how to deal with women. That is a fact, Jason. It is such a disaster, it's hard to believe that some poor schmuck, feminized husband would allow their wife to keep cheating on him and putting him down. Unless they take more shit than that, believe me. When you are alpha, those problems will never, ever happen to you. You're absolutely right about that, Jason. And what and that is what Gary programs teach you. So go buy them. And don't act like some poor schmuck. Thanks, Jason. Hey, thank you, Jason. Send this again. I want to use this as a testimonial. Is that good? You wouldn't believe some of the guy stuff the guys take because they call me. That's how I know. I do these consultations like, holy shit, I don't know if I can take that without, you know, losing their mind. Well, they say, I have to sleep in the bathroom because she's mad at me. What, kind of, what size house do you have? Oh, about three bedrooms. Why are you sleeping in the bathroom? This is a true story. Well, you know, otherwise she's not going to talk to me anymore. Do you realize how fucked up your life is? She's, you're gonna get, the only thing you get out of her is more grief. It took me months to get this guy to throw the girl out. And finally he did. And his whole life, said, wow, I got my life back. And he realized how much I lost. That's one of the problems. When you're whipped, you don't know or realize how much you have lost. Okay, forget pussy whipping, forget lack of confidence, until I'm ready to get the DHEA. I went to a casino and watched a hot girl play slots. She looked at me, and bam, it was on. Well, yeah, thanks a lot for bringing that up. DHEA, and, you know, I know, uh, actually, for a fact, now I am the only one left that has the real DHEA. It'll build you muscle, it'll build you the aggression, it'll give you confidence. I can't stress this enough, but it's the only supplement that's actually been banned in certain countries. And in Canada, it's banned because they say it gives men an unfair advantage over women. And that's shit, DHEA, okay? I got the most powerful DHEA that you're ever going to get at GaryBrowski.com drop-down menu supplements. Within four hours, you are going to become a confident aggressive, in a good way, alpha male. And I wish I could tell you the names of some of the big shots who take this stuff. Because they buy it, they see the names, I know who they are. A little soda and now uh, back to the show. You know, DHA started out as a bodybuilding drug, and they wanted to ban it because it made guys too assertive, too aggressive. Exactly what they do not want guys to be today. So I highly recommend, before they shut it down, and they're trying to shut it down. In America, well, right now it's good, because I'll ship it anywhere. I didn't say that. The DHA, it is powerful. The only side, take it five days on, two days off. There'll be no side effects except more women, bigger muscles, more aggression. You take less shit. 
you lose your fear because DHA kills cortisol, which is a fear hormone. You can read all about what DHA does. And if you want the real stuff, come back to GaryBrowski.com. It took me two years to get the real stuff. DHA. Your yeah, DHA works like a mother. It changed my life, changed everything. Tell everybody to buy it. That's what I'm doing. But thanks for the email. Yes, it does work. It absolutely does. And there's always a refund. You don't want, I don't even want your bottle back. I want the empty bottle back. Just send me a letter. This shit didn't work. Because it's never going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Why be alpha? Pat Benatar says the best. Oh, by the way, my friend the Bimmy went one, okay? Just have to get that out there. Love is a battlefield. As such, I'm going into battle. I want to be armed with the fucking teeth. I'm playing to win. That's why. That's exactly why you should be alpha. And one thing about being alpha, big mistake guys do. It's like, hey, I'm going out to a club tonight, which is like the last place to meet a woman, but you can do it. It's easy. I'm going to act alpha tonight. Huh. Alpha's got to be your lifestyle. you got to be alpha 24 hours a day. And if you want to really build up your testosterone, because testosterone is your currency of masculinity. DHEA is tremendous at building up testosterone. And you won't find a website that says it's not. And the other one is the audio program Be More Man. That works. I got so many. I don't. I don't even use the testimonials. Okay, so I want to how to ask water for things. I'm gonna be doing a special show on water, astrology, and all the other stuff. Which people, are, oh, oh, you shouldn't do a show on that. I'll tell you why. The most powerful people in the world use this stuff: the water, the astrology. And I'm gonna do how to do a special webinar on that. If I talk about it here too much, guess what? There's a lot of audio programs, not audio programs, a lot of these uh, shows that have some really good content to it, and they're gone. It's just blocked in some countries. America being one of them, England being another one. I don't know what countries they're allowed in, but I cannot do, talk too much if I want this little clip here tonight to ever stay online. I know a lot of, I know so much stuff. I spent my whole life. A lot of years researching this stuff. Because my first pussy would be was so bad. I got that when I was about 13, which is, it still hurts. It doesn't matter if you're 13 or you're, you're 75. It's like getting, you know, kicking the balls. It's still going to hurt the same way. But I said, oh, never again, never again. And then I got it again at, at uh, 18. Uh, you know, it didn't last that long. But it, the effects last a hell of a lot longer than the pussy whipping. Don't be pussy whipped. Literally, it's you. If you ever, anybody have been pussy out there, come on, send me an email, Gary Rossi one two three at aol dot com, and let me know how bad it was. Because I admit I had it twice, and it was horrible. Worse than root canal, okay, way worse. But as you're thinking up some questions, I'm going to just tell you something fun that me and my buddies used to do. And the Bimmy. We had a great joke we used to play on people. We had access to some great graphics that, that you know almost nobody had because my father was with Marvel Comics. We used to print up gift certificates to restaurants, like two hundred dollars and give them to people. And they would go to the restaurant, eat a lot, get all sorts of wines, whatever. And when the bill would come in hand the gift certificate, and he goes, What is this? We don't give out gift certificates. Oh, are they pissed off? Just so, you know, we just have fun, you know. I guess boys will be boys, but not anymore. I get that right now. The head job that they're doing to you in schools, in the media, and everything you watch, see, listen, and hear is to emasculate you. Why would they want to emasculate you? Let's figure this out. Because being masculine and being alpha works. So doing everything to scare you, to deter you, to pull you out of that mindset, and to get you to be just a goddamn sheep.
And that's what I stand for. I will not let that happen. And this is for the souls of my grandchildren. It's not going to happen. Jason, good evening. Again. Huh. Yes. Very well put. Thank you. But you know, I'm right about one thing. The reason they don't want to be alpha is because it works. Otherwise, they would not have this media barrage. In and not only media in the schools and in the workplace. To make you not alpha, if it didn't work, they wouldn't care. And is it they out there? Because I know I used to work for them. I said they would fall for their shit, and I quit. Took a couple of hundred per carton of cigarettes, they left. Now, thank you. A lot of people say, hey, this stuff is great, thanks. GaryBrass.com. I know all you guys have signed up watching this, but. For the YouTube audience, sign up, join this channel, give me thumbs up, whatever it takes. I don't understand how a guy, because, again, for lack of knowledge, it's like, oh man, I don't know how to think of women. You know, because it's, it's your first instinct. So you hit like 14, 15, yeah, I want to go out and get a girl, I, you know, a proms, I don't have that anymore. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how. So I guess I'll just. Play games on my iPhone all day. But I feel really bad for that younger generation coming up. Because if I was going to like die tomorrow, which could happen, I don't know. If I'm not here next week, you'll know what happened. I have so many great memories to go back to. I win. Now, if I went to the iPhone, which didn't have when I was young, but let's say they, they did. It's like, what's your memory of your teenage years? I just played iPhone. I got to level six. And that's what I'm talking about, for lack of knowledge. All the knowledge is there, and more keeps getting added. All the products of DGA, man, does it make a difference. I've heard guys say this to me in the gym. Yeah, your arms are that big because you take DGA. Well, yeah, that's true. Well, that's cheating. No, it isn't. It's putting more testosterone in my body, and testosterone means more confidence, more muscle, more self-assuredness. And it is powerful now. It's always been powerful. You don't feel like, wow. You just feel, hey, I got to feel good. I feel horny. I feel, I'm going out there. I'm conquering. It's the, I would say, you know, it's got so many benefits and very little side effects. And the uh, other audio, Be More of a Man. You can build up DHEA and testosterone and all that stuff naturally, and you add DHEA to that, you'll be a killer out there. An absolute killer. Heartbreaking and everything else, having all the fun in the world. Okay. Well, time just flies, you know. Any questions? Get the last ones in. Gary Brodsky, one, two, three, at AOL.com. I know some computer geek out there going, hey, he still use AOL. Shut up. Yeah. Anybody have any ideas like a title of show title? That'd be great too. You know, I appreciate that. But yeah, that's why. Let me just say this again. They don't want you to be alpha because it works. The after anything that works, that's the after. So if you're alpha, also, yeah, hey, I got women here, this one here, this one here, that one over there, that one over there. She's not the good looking, but what the hell? Yeah, I'm not going to call you sex because you judge women by their looks. That's what we do, okay? If they don't like it, what are you going to say, right? But as men do judge women by their looks, which is a fact. Women judge men by their confidence. And that's a fact, too. The more you can build up your confidence, by what? More knowledge. That's what does it. Knowledge is power. 
Whoever said that was right. That's what Gary Brass that comes all about. I don't want to see guys straightening out anymore saying I tried. Not just saying I tried. It means you fucked up, okay? It means you fucked up. Or, you know, I was picking up this girl and uh, it didn't work out, or we went on two dates, nothing happened. Totally your fault. Why? You have no knowledge of how to make things work. But that's okay, because GaryBrass.com has the knowledge you need. And the story on that one. And guys who are afraid to listen and don't want to know this stuff, eventually you play enough uh, computer games and bang, you turn to a horse, okay? Seriously, that's my word for it. So don't be a horse. Go to GaryProtsky.com. Yes. Gary Brodsky, Raw Alpha Power. Thanks. I am using that for tonight's show. You'll see it on YouTube. Give it a thumbs up because one guy, and I know who it is, who gives me a thumb down and everything. Not that I really care, but just to piss him off, okay? Everybody, hey, thanks so much for being here. Go to GaryBrodsky.com. And uh, now for my uh, blessing and my chant. It's not my chance, but okay. You know what I mean? You've watched the show long enough. Okay, again, thank you for being here. Check out GaryBrass.com, even if it's just for fun. But here, we play only to win. Only to conquer. And we don't fail. Failure is not an option. Thank you. Good night. Bless you all. May peace, joy, prosperity, and everything you ever dreamt of be in your life. Bless you all, and I'll see you next week. GaryBrowski.com. <laughs>